Finally, let's see how our uh, um, model can be extended when we consider renewable resource instead of non-renewable ones. Pretty intuitively, the equation that will change is the equation of motions of the stock of uh, uh, the natural resource. When we consider non-renewable resource, the only way for the stock to change is through the extraction of the resource that we operate. But uh, when we consider non-renewable uh, resources, another factor comes into play, and it is uh, the capacity of the resource to regenerate itself. So with a renewable resource, we can make the assumptions that this capacity depend from the level of the stock. So if we plot here the grow of the resource as a function of the stock, what we observe for many kind of uh, uh, renewable resources is something more or less like this. That is, when the stock of the resource is small, also the grow is uh, small. However, as we increase the stock, the grow also increase. And this till a certain point, after which for further increase of the stock, then the capacity of the uh, uh, resource to uh, generate new uh, resource to regenerate decrease more and more till we arrive to a certain point, so uh, carrying capacity, where the grow becomes zero and the stock remain constant at, uh, at this level. This can be due for many factors, uh, typically they play into actual uh, limiting factor like the availability of food or uh, of, uh, of space. Something important to consider is that when we don't have uh, uh, harvesting, the grow is equal to uh, the variation of the stock in time and hence this is a phase diagram and uh, we should put attention to not confound the grow with grow rate. When the resource is very small, the grow rate is uh, very high because, but this is because uh, S is very small. The level of the stock here is very small. When instead we consider the grow either in these terms or uh, in this if there is no uh, harvesting or in, in these terms, this one, the, the grow itself, it is very limiting, it's very limited and uh, increase and become maximum only when we reach this uh, amount of stock. So here is how our uh, flowchart is modified and uh, we see that differently from uh, all other uh, functional forms for which we can define a clear direction. In this case, natural regenerations depend from natural uh, resource stock, but uh, it can be in a positive or negative way. When uh, the resource stock is small, increasing the resource stock increases also the natural regeneration. But when we pass it, uh, uh, at a certain point, uh, the uh, inc further increase of the stock causes a, a decrease of the uh, regeneration. How our uh, uh, optimization model uh, change and how our solution to the optimal uh, uh, to, to the to the problem change? Well. As, uh, for, as with the case of uh, um, extraction cost, now the stock of the resource enter inside our Hamiltonian and hence this derivative is no longer uh, zero. When we expand the derivative, we obtain this term here, but when we arrange, 
we can see that our hoteling rules is modified. So the grow rate of price of the natural resource is no longer just equal to the social discount rate, but depends also on uh, the rate of change of the uh, resource grow with respect to the stock of uh, uh, the resource. In particular, because we are speaking of renewable resources, we are interested in the steady state. And uh, we have a steady state every time we harvest exactly the amount of growth that the resource can produce, uh, so that uh, the resource stock remain uh, uh, constant. And uh, the, the idea is that uh, because we are harvesting the same amount uh, of a resource, if the demand uh, remain also constant, the price will, uh, with uh, supply and demand constants, the, pr the price will, uh, will also remain uh, constant. And uh, so this growth rate will be equal to zero and means that the, uh, the uh, rate of change of the resource with respect to the stock in an optimal uh, uh, solutions at the steady states must be equal to the social uh, uh, discount rate. Graphically, it is interesting to notice that only when uh, the social discount rate is equal to zero, so we are indifferent between the present and the future, we can have a optimal uh, uh, solution where the steady state is equal to what is called the maximum sustainable yield, that is the level of grow rate that is the highest possible one here. Whenever, every time that uh, our society is a bit greedy for, for the present compared with, uh, with the future, we have a solutions where the, at the equilibrium, at the steady state, the level of, uh, uh, of uh, harvesting is uh, uh, below the maximum sustainable yield.